right, here we are. So let's start unpacking this thing to see what we got in there. All right, here's the instruction. Here's the unit itself. This is what we're going to follow for the insulation when the time comes. Here's the step by step. And then on this side, we have a diagram how the, at the end, it should look like at the end of the installation. This is a sample of what you could have today before the install. And this is at the end of the install. Something that I noticed right away is that this wire that runs from the contactor to the run, sorry, from the contactor to the common of the capacitor gets completely removed. And instead, it runs from the capacitor to the unit. I've noticed a couple of installations in YouTube where some people, I actually I believe it's called Generac soft start install, if you do a search for that, where the technician actually completely ignores that step. He leaves this wire connected from the contactor to the cap and also installs the wire from here, from this, the same common from the capacitor to the unit. So, I don't know what happened at the end when they did that because they don't allow any comments. But in my case, I for sure will not leave that cable that goes from the contactor to the cap. I will, at the end of my installation, it should look exactly like this one right here. This is all part of the exercise of installing a Hyperstart Engineering Soft Start. Here's the view of the unit inside. We're gonna take some measurements with, before installing the unit. I know this is my run wire right up here for the compressor. So I'm gonna measure the inrush current on it. And let me get this all set up and I'll start the next video in a second. All right, I already made the call. Let's see what the inrush current is on this compressor. Sorry, just missed it. By the time I pressed the button to lower the temperature inside to the time you started, I missed the, the startup. But anyway, here's the inrush current, 146.4 amps, just on the compressor starting wire. While we are here, we may as well measure the, just the regular run current. So, so DC, let's change this to AC. So the running amps is 12.4 amps. Let's say 12 and a half amps. Again, these are the measurements before installing the hyper engineering soft spark. Now, just for giggles, I just shut off the unit. I increased the temperature inside so that the compressor will shut off and the condenser fan. Now I set up the meter just to max, instead of inrush, just max. So this is gonna show the difference between the inrush setting and the max when the unit starts. Cause it's gonna be, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be different. So I'm gonna make another call for cooling and let's see what it reads. Okay, just started and I have the meter set up on max amps, not in rush. And it read, it reads 80 amps. So as I expected, 
when I have it in the inrush mode, it captures a higher peak current on startup than when it is on max mode. So at least we have now two reference points. All right, in anticipation to the install, install I did some prep work here rather than waiting to have the unit in there to start connecting cables i did it here on my workbench um so that i could get a good torque on the connections uh also here on this wire i clipped the ferrule that came with it clipped it off and scrimped a screw terminal if I, i'm not sure if the hole is big enough for the screw that'll be taken off of the contactor but in, in any event if it doesn't work, I'll just crimp it, take it off and one more time and crimp a new one, one of these. So that is the prep work that I did. Also, instead of drilling holes on the thing, I'm using this uh, 3M Velcro. I have used this thing for a long time and it's very, very good even outdoors. So that that's gonna be my approach. My next step is I'm just gonna go in there to the unit and I'm gonna dry fit it. I have a feeling it's going to be installed upwards like this. Just a quick dry fit to get a good idea of where this is going to be. Facing up, the cable should be long enough to reach both the contactor and the cap. So this is about the height that I'm going to be installing the unit. The soft start. This is what it looks like installed nice and secure and I can snap it off at any time. As a matter of fact, I'm going to take it off from the base and just take it back inside to make sure everything looks right and look at my electrical diagram one more time. The uh, unit just started right before I installed the soft start. I decided to measure the inrush current one more time, but this time I just put it on the line side of the comma on the contactor 146.9 round that off to 147 amps inrush current and about 15 running amps on the common side all right we are got, we are about to get started with the installation so first step, obviously, disconnect power. So let's take this baby off. All right, so it's off. I'm gonna put it up here and close this. Just to verify, I'm gonna come here and check for voltage. I got zero, to, that's 200 milli, millivolts. Next step, we're gonna go ahead and discharge the cap. Make sure there's nothing there. Show them all across. Okay, done. So, power is off, cap is discharged. I verified the line side with the voltmeter that there is zero volts. So we start with the install now. So we got this one, we got this one. Like I said, I velcro the thing onto the panel. So the first step is to remove the compressor run wire from the contactor run capacitor as applicable. That'll be this red wire on top of the contactor in my particular case. Here is the first challenge. The cable is so short that I need to strip it and put it into the terminal, into this terminal here but it will not reach so i'm gonna go ahead and pretty much extend that wire so that it'll reach here to my connection all right so what i did was just put a butt connector and put in an extension here so that it'll reach the, the sure start so notice i'm using the same type gauge wire as the previous one it's got to be the same one the same gauge wire. So now that we have it removed from this terminal, we're gonna install this end on the short start. Okay, here we are. So I disconnected the wire from the contactor and I extended it and I connected it 
to the right terminal to the correct terminal on the sure start the next step says to connect this wire to the sure start and then go to the capacitor and to be specific it goes to the common of the capacitor that's where that purple and red wire is the instructions say to remove what in my case is the red wire and put in this brown wire there this brown wire right here that comes from the short start next step is the black wire to the common side of the contactor so here's my black wire and it goes to the common side of the contactor so i'll put it in that terminal that is empty behind there there it is connected and this is the black wire to the shore start now is the blue wire from the shore start goes to the herm terminal on the capacitor the blue wire to the herm terminal which here is labeled herm where the orange wire is so i'll put it right next to it there it is the blue wire to the herm terminal to this connection on the short start based on the instructions so the next step is remove the loose wire from step seven from the active input of the contactor and attach the strip end of the active wire in its place so this is the one that i spoke about earlier in the video that i removed and the instruction says to remove it so okay let me see if i can get my uh, something to hold the terminal in and while I pull on the wire, but it's this one right here So I had to put this screw back into because this terminal was moving in order to unplug it So this pigtail is coming off And this is what I was talking about earlier about this connection from here To the common of the capacitor in my case, I just removed it the last one is this thick cable that came with the unit to be connected to where the run cable to the compressor was. So that one comes from the sure start to here. So let me take the screw back out and I'll put it in there. All right, everything is wired up. Um, I have not dressed the cables already. Obviously, I'm gonna put some tie wraps and dress them up nicely and tight. Um, but this connections now, everything coming from the sure start matches this diagram right here. So I'm just gonna put my meter on to measure the currents as we did earlier before the install. Okay, I'm almost ready to put in the switch in there to bring power back to the unit. I already have my clamp meter set on inrush. Something to remember is that the, uh, it takes like several cycles to optimize. So as measure um, as startups happen, it's supposed to decrease the inrush current up to the optimal point. So the first one is about to come up. Also notice that this cable used to go to, to start the compressor. Now it goes into the unit. And this cable is the one now that goes to the compressor. So I'm gonna take both measurements in two, two measurements in two subsequent starts. First, I'm gonna start with this one to measure inrush. So let's see where it goes. Oh, excellent. Here's our first start with the sure start install in hyper engineering. Um, the inrush first start 56.43 amps we know for since we checked earlier before the sure start was installed uh, we got about 147 amps or something like that and 
now we also check the running amps let's see if we made a difference in the running amps let's go back auto ac about 15 amps now so that was our first start and now i'm gonna try a second start but now checking just the max <coughs> sorry instead of in rush right, this is about the third start now on max it reads 34.45 amps if i remember correctly the first time it was about 79 amps so that's that's pretty good that's less it's a reduction of 50 percent and again Keep in mind that it's supposed to optimize as, st as, many, as starts happen. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to close it up, dress it up, and I'm going to come back in a couple of days and take the same measurements to see where we at. It's been a couple of days, several cycles. So uh, we're reading here 58 amp in rush current. I don't know if you guys can see this. Let's just go on ahead and read the running amps. It's written 58.4. I cannot even tell if, if the screen shows it. But let's see. Running amps. It reads 11.8, 11.9. So there has been barely any change on the running amps on the compressor. So I guess the summary is this thing works. It has reduced the inrush current substantially and the running amps is stayed approximately the same, just slightly less than what it was, about a quarter amp maybe. Last but not least, I decided to check now using the max function of the amp meter. We got about 36.91 amps. Let's round that off to 37 amps. So in, in summary, again, has been many cycles. So this is as good as it's gonna get. So um, if you like what you saw in this video and learn anything, I may help you do your install. Please press the like button. And this wrap, wraps it up, guys.